Alright, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about Form 4, Chapter 6, Biology, the KSSM syllabus about cell division. So, a very really quick one, what is cell division? So, cell division actually is a process that happens in the cell. So, this process involving making new cell and also replacing the dead cell. Okay, so making new cell and also replace the dead cell. So in our body, there are actually two types of cell division, which is mitosis and also meiosis. So mitosis only happen in somatic cell, and meiosis will only happen in reproductive cell. or gamete. So what is somatic cell and what is reproductive cell or gamete? So number one, somatic cell. So somatic cell is all type of cell in our body except reproductive cell. So it's all type of cell in our body except for reproductive cell. So it can be our skin cell, our stomach lining cell, our kidney cell all types of cell. Okay, next. So reproductive cell or gamete. So for male, there will be sperm cell. Female will be the ovum or egg cell. Okay, so let's talk about some basic concept of genetic. So we know that in an animal cell, there's a nucleus. So inside a nucleus, what is it? It is a contained chromosome. So chromosome, if we zoom in, they are actually built out by DNA. So each species of organism actually have a fixed number of chromosome. Okay? So number of chromosome for human, okay, for human, we actually have two N or we say is 46 okay 46 chromosome or we can say 23 pairs okay 20, 23 pairs so we can say 46 chromosome or 23 pairs and for some other animals like for horse they have 32 pairs of chromosome and then for onion cell they have 8 pairs of chromosome so n will be 23 because two n is forty six one, so n will be twenty three, just like that. All right. So before we dive into talking about mitosis, we need to talk about a few terms first. Okay, a few terms like gene, homologous chromosome, and chromatid. Okay, so we need to draw a table, so better for us to organize. So first thing we're gonna write term here. Okay, term and also the description okay term and description so the first term we're going to talk about is gene okay gene so gene is actually one segment of dna or chromosome so if we are about to draw a chromosome usually we draw a small circle and then up, upper loop and also bottom loop. Lah. All right. So gene is one segment of the chromosome. So which means that here, this segment, okay, this segment can be our gene on chromosome. Okay, gene on chromosome. So one gene will be responsible for one type of protein synthesis. So human cell actually have thousands of genes that arrange in 46 chromosome. Okay, it's amazing. Okay, next, the structure of a chromosome. So basically, chromosome we can draw like this. Or like this. Okay, like this. 
So we got two ways of drawing a chromosome. So this, we name them as a chromatid. If they are just like one strand like that, we name it as one chromatid. Okay, one chromatid. So here, can you see, this is one chromatid, and then this is also one chromatid. So together, we name them as sister chromatid. So why do, why do we name them as sister chromatid? Because they are actually same as each other, okay? They carry the same gene formed by DNA replication. Okay, formed by DNA replication. So how does it form by DNA replication? So DNA replication means that DNA make a copy of themselves. Okay, make one copy of themselves. So we need to erase this one. So arrowhead one chromatid undergo DNA replication will give us sister chromatids. So this is what you have to know. Okay, so for a chromatid, there is a centromere. So a centromere actually is the middle part of the chromosome. Okay, next. So this part, we're going to talk about homologous chromosome. So homologous chromosome are actually found in pairs. Okay, in pairs. So for human, we have 23 pairs. So one from that, and then one from... Alright, so this is what we call as homologous chromosome. So what is so special about homologous chromosome? So homologous chromosome, actually they have the same length and shape and also same position of centromere okay so this is a centromere and this is a centromere and also they are same length okay same length and also the shape next term we're going to talk about is the term diploid and also haploid okay diploid Alright, so for diploid, will be a cell with two sets of chromosome. So one set from the father and one set from the mother. So all somatic cell. Okay, all somatic cell are diploid. So it's usually represented by the symbol 2N. Okay, how about haploid? So haploid will be a cell with single set of chromosome. So it will be half from the total number of chromosome. So all gamete or we say reproductive cell are haploid. Okay, so I hope that you all understand about the terms regarding all this. Next. We will dive into cell cycle and we will talk about mitosis and also meiosis.